I have some fruit here to illustrate a few concepts about holes in solid state structures. So I have some mandarin oranges here in a closest packing arrangement and we can use this to talk about holes, uh, really the gaps between these spheres represented by these oranges. Okay, now if I have a scenario here in which I have three spheres here and three spheres above like this, whoops, this represents an octahedral type arrangement of these mandarin oranges and inside we have an octahedral hole. Okay, and so what I can do is I could say, all right, say this part of the octahedron, these, these oranges represent anions, and this little grape here represents a cation. For that cation to fit in, uh, in between these anions, or for this grape to fit in between inside these, or inside this arrangement of oranges, it has to be a bit smaller than those oranges, okay? And so you can see this sort of makes an octahedron here, and we have an octahedral hole, okay? Another type of hole we can talk about are tetrahedral holes. And to do this, I've got three oranges down here, and I put another orange on top like that to make a tetrahedron. And again, I can think about the oranges as representing anions, and I could slip a very small cation into this tetrahedral hole, into this little pocket, okay? And to represent this, I've got a little tiny little blueberry here. So that blueberry is going to sit in that space in the middle of that tetrahedron, okay? And so you can think about this as being a very small cation sitting in a tetrahedral hole uh, surrounded by four much larger anions.